Two words. There's nothing like quality family time. You're being a doctor doing surgery. Chris and I love hanging out with our dad. You've hurt yourself. Playing games, having a laugh, enjoying each other's company. Surgery yell. It's Operation Ouch! <laughs> you two are terrible at charades. I'm going to go and get some strawberry milk. Mmm, I'm so looking forward to this. What has happened to my strawberry milk? One of you two has drunk my strawberry milk. Well, it definitely wasn't me. It was me. I never liked the stuff. It must be him. Looks like this is a case for an investigation. Ouch. If I'm not mistaken, there should still be some saliva around the rim of this bottle, and saliva contains DNA, a special genetic code that's unique to absolutely everybody. So all we need to do is compare the DNA in the saliva here with each of us to find out who stole the milk. Step one in solving the mystery of my strawberry milk is to collect a sample of saliva from Dad, Chris and me. Now, with this and the strawberry milk bottle, I've got everything I need to solve this mystery once and for all. Your body is made of billions of cells, each with a different job to do. But how do they know what their job is? Well, that's where DNA comes in. You, eye colour. You, gender. You, hair colour. DNA stands for deoxyribonucleic acid. It's a molecule which contains the instructions for all living things, including everything from whether you're a male or a female to the colour of your skin. This is a DNA testing lab, the perfect place for me to get our DNA tested. And this is Emma. She's a DNA specialist. This is the DNA of a strawberry. Well, wow, so that's real visible DNA. It is, yes. That's incredible. So how similar is that to my DNA? It's very similar. All living things share some of the same functionalities. Even with something like a banana, we share about 50% of our DNA with a banana. Hmm. Dr Chris is probably more like 60%. Oi! Emma is collecting the DNA from saliva on the strawberry milk bottle. She'll now analyse it along with our saliva and get the results. I'm going to catch Chris or Dad, then they're going to be sorry. The DNA data on the top is from the bottle and is that of our thief. The DNA data on the bottom is from our samples. Whoever matches exactly is the culprit. First suspect in the dock is Dad. He's got something in common with the crime scene, but it's not a direct match. So, Dad's off the hook. Now for suspect number two, Dr Chris. So here we can see that every region we're looking at is a direct match. Chris's DNA and the thief's DNA are exactly the same. I knew it. He's going down for this. I'm going to go and get him right now. Dr Zand? Gonna... What? There's something you probably want to see here. Which is? Um, this is your profile. And it's also a direct match for the crime scene. What? Oh, dear. How's that possible? It definitely wasn't me. Yourself and Dr Chris are identical twins. We've got the same DNA. That's right. Because identical twins have exactly the same DNA, the test can't tell the difference between innocent me and that criminal Chris. I still don't have the evidence I need to put Dr Chris behind bars. I'm going back to the scene of the crime to reinvestigate. Bad news, everybody. I'm afraid the lab results only rule out Dad. Chris, it's either you or me, but because we have the same DNA, we can't be sure which. I guess it's just one of those things that we'll never, ever, ever know. Ever. Sand, I think you're forgetting one thing. Fridge cam. Ooh, fridge cam! Yeah, and fridge cam has the answer to the mystery. Go on, then. Is that me? Well, this proves nothing. This doesn't look good. Well, case closed, I think, Zand. Rods, anyone? <laughs>